we have an exciting guest from the galaxy far, far away. <laughs> She's back as Rey in Star Wars, The Last Jedi, the most anticipated blockbuster of the year. Please welcome Daisy Ridley. <laughs> It's like you dreamed that way. No, dry no, eyes? that was always my dream to come out in a load of dry oh. eyes. <laughs> well, well, now my dreams are coming true. We, there you go. I bet a lot of your dreams are coming true with everything that's happening, and well deserved with you, as you. talented as you are. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> now everybody's all excited. Yes. But we hear your dad's more of a trekkie. Oh my what? God. <laughs> yes. What's this? Yeah. No, he. He's a, he's a big supporter of me. Okay. Uh, he wasn't always like a Star Warsy person. Obviously, he watches it because I'm in it. But um, he uh, he talks about when the adverts are mainly me. He's like, that's the Papa edit. <laughs> but otherwise, he's like, you yeah, know, I can do with that. And, and, and also, do, on the set of The Force Awakens, you learned how to drive back then. Well, yeah, I did my theory test for driving, uh -huh. and I was driving around in a in a buggy a lot of the time, which actually was illegal too. Maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> they kept telling me to stop, and I was like, "Yeah." I'm enjoying this. Yeah. But what did you learn this time around on set? Any any new skills? Any new skills? I think I'm more proficient with a lightsaber. Oh, I'd say that ooh, that's a good. I yeah. Good dance. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Right there. Little you know, it was it was because I never really trained before the first one, and then the second one I had like I was training for like the year that I was sort of off, so uh, so I I had more um, what's the word stamina, yeah. stamina, and I felt pretty that. strong. Yeah, and, and and you have an Im like important stuff. relationship with Mark Hamill and, yes. a, and a really cool friendship yes. with him. Tell yes. us a little bit about that. Um, it was wonderful because obviously I was very lucky to be able to work with Harrison and Carrie. And when Mark and I worked together the first time, I was really sick, like really sick. So that day I was just like ah, trying to get through it. And then we sort of we'd had time. We went for dinner. I went for dinner with his family, and then we had time for rehearsals and. And was shooting with him a lot, which was really amazing. And your dad Wonderful had no man. clue who he was. <laughs> no, my dad. Is, no, my dad. My dad said, "Who do you play then?" Oh no! But as in, but I don't know if he was joking or not. But it was because it was only us in Ireland, and I was like, "Who is here, Dad? Who is in the <laughs> shot? It's Ray and Luke Skywalker." Yeah. Yeah. It's a clue. Let's, yeah. let's look ahead a little bit, if you can. Yes. Any chance that Ray goes to the dark side? Mm. Ooh. George, that's a great George. question. I love that. <laughs> You're pretty good at this thing. Do you know, I think the thing about this film is it's not so, the lines are less clear as to like good and bad. Yeah. Ray is trying to find out about herself and about the universe and, and those questions don't entirely fall to the good, nor do they entirely fall to the bad. She's trying to do her own sort of personal growth and, and, uh, and I think what's amazing is the end of the film, you, you, however that does end, it's more rich. Because you can't, if it's always good, the outcome isn't as important as it might be if, yeah. you know, that's there's a great uh, tease. That's true. Yeah. Uh, a moment ago, you alluded to Carrie, of course, talking yes. about Carrie Fisher. Yes. This is her final appearance that yes. she made. And understand that before that she gave you pep talks before. She was just uh, really kind. I think uh, Harris and her and Mark all very much lead by example. So it wasn't like a sit down of, uh, it wasn't like yeah. a sit down of this is, what you need to do and this is how it's going to be. She was just always very kind. And the first one in the clip, you can see we were always dancing together. And this one, we were always singing together. Mm -hmm. She's just uh, lovely. She took good care of me, yeah. 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 And speaking of co-stars, Josh Gad, your co-star in uh -huh. Murder yeah. on the <laughs> Orient Express. <laughs> yeah. I heard he was always fishing for Star Wars spoilers. Do you know, honestly, I didn't know he was a Star Wars fan. And then he was doing the, he was doing the videos. I was like, oh yeah, these are fun. And he was asking like quite specific things. And I was like, oh, okay. And then he came in with an Attack t-shirt on and I was like, ah, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. But he, he knew everything about the movies, but, but, but Judy Dench, you had to teach her quite a bit. It was, like, there was, there was some, we did a few with her, literally crying with laughter. Like, I thought there's no way I'm going to get through it, because she was saying midi claw. No, no, like, she didn't know what anything was, and she kept saying, how do I pronounce this? Oh, that's so How do I pronounce Because oh, no. her grandson knew, but she just had no idea. It was brilliant. Did you teach her how to speak Wookiee? We didn't go that far. But also, what's it is she put her scarf up, and no one told her to do that. We were like, "You literally look like a Jedi Knight." Yeah. yeah. So we campaigned to get her in episode nine. Oh, that would be so oh. great. Yeah. So I don't know if you've heard the news um, over in, in your neck of the woods yeah. about a little engagement. 
No. <laughs> Harry, of course, yes. engaged. Now to Meghan Markle. What was it like having uh, he, he and William on the set? It was really funny. It was it was great because it was so surreal. It's surreal anyway, like taking people around a set that's sort of your home. Because mm -hmm. it's weird suddenly being the outside and being mm. like, oh, this, 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 this. And then occasionally I'd be like, oh, that's... That's the princess <laughs> of England. <laughs> but it was great. They're really, really nice. Also, really tall, which was the most oh, surprising yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. Really tall. Yeah, mm -hmm. they were lovely. And Down big Star Wars fans. Yeah. yeah. Like they knew yeah. more than Judy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I tell you what, it is, um, you're always fun to watch, but I hear you, you didn't like your performance in the first movie. No. Why? Why? Everybody loved you. What do you mean? Um... I don't know if it's ever nice watching yourself. Like, I liked the film. The film, I was like, great. But obviously, it's very weird. And we'd spent six months filming, and then it was like over a year later that it came out. So it's all these weird sort of memories, and then actually seeing the thing that you did. It's, it's well, see, really that's what's great odd. about live. We never have to watch ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But even, even this one, I watched it last week. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I watched uh, Murder on the Orient Express at the mm -hmm. premiere, and I was like, and then sort of, you know, it takes a little while to process that. But that was nice, too, because it was very much a group thing. And then I did see The Last Jedi a couple weeks ago. Um, and again, I was like, I can't watch this. <laughs> um, but, you know. Surprised? Do you, do you know, sort of know everything? Because obviously you're not shooting all your scenes together. I was more surprised with this one. Wow. Yeah, because there's there's like a there's a few you know storylines so that are sort of coming sure. together and can you I mean, imagine a better guy. tease than that? She was more surprised than anybody else. She threw you threw out about three or four great teases. You no, know, and I didn't even know I was doing it, but hey oh. And my man bought his lightsaber back there. He's ready to go. Hey -oh. It is Star Wars: The Last Jedi hit theaters Friday, December fifteenth. Daisy. It's always great to have you. We appreciate you.